first I will substitute square root of x minus 1 by t square. Why by t square? Because we have square root of this whole expression. So we have square root of x minus 1 is equal t square. So square root of x is equal t square plus 1. I just move negative 1 to the right side. Now, because we have square root of x here, so to find x, I will take both sides to second power. So we have x is equal t square plus 1 to second power. So now we have to find derivative of both sides. dx is equal to, in parentheses we have t square plus 1 times 2t dt. So now we can rewrite this that dx is equal 4t t square plus 1 dt. So we will have integral dx is, we can do multiplication, 4t times t square is 4 t cube 4 t times 1 is 4 t and over we have square root of x minus 1 is t square so we have square root of t square dt of course so this is equal we can factorize 4 in numerator so we will take this for before integral symbol. So we will have now t cube plus t over square root of t square is t dt. So this is equal 4 times integral. We will factorize t t square plus 1 over t. Now we can reduce t and t, so we have 4 integral of t square plus 1 dt. So this is equal, integral of sum is equal sum of integrals, so we will have 4 and in brackets will be integral of t square, so it's t cube over 3 and integral of 1 is t plus constant c. So this is equal 4 over 3 t cube plus 4 t plus c. Now we have to come back to our substitution. We have that t square is square root of x minus 1. It means that t is equal square root of square root of x minus 1. So now we will substitute our t's. It will be 4 over 3 times we will have square root of square root of x minus 1 to third power can put in parentheses to third power plus 4 times square root of square root of x minus 1 plus constant c. This is my solution.